In 1958, in Wichita, Kansas, two Wichita State University students, who happen to be brothers, <laughs> you don't happen to be brothers, you are brothers. Two Wichita State University brothers students opened the very first Pizza Hut. It would go on to become the largest pizza chain worldwide with over 18,000, let's start over. I'm shooting a serious piece of content in here. Today, I will eat everything off the menu of Pizza Hut because no one out pizzas the hut. That's their catchphrase. They got wings, they got calzones, they got cheese breadsticks. It's gonna be a big day. I'm also lactose intolerant, so it's gonna be a rough night. Pizza Hut, growing up, was my favorite pizza place. It still is. I don't like Domino's that much. I don't like Papa John's that much. If I want, Cheap, drunk pizza, I want Pizza Hut. It was weird, I'm not ordering everything, I'm just picking up stuff. Hey, how's it going? I have a pickup order, I think it's under Miles. Holy guacamole. Wow, this is just one of three orders. This is not everything from Pizza Hut. We have more deliveries coming this afternoon and we're also hosting our very own behind the scenes extravagant Pizza Hut gala. Hosted by our very own food babies. <laughs> Let's get to it. We got a lot of wings on this street and I gotta sweep it up with my mouth. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it's not the right song. They smell great. The breadsticks. I used to get these in my college. It was great. It's a little heavy on the bread. It's a breadstick. <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's got a good crunch, it's got a good texture. But nothing compares to the Cheese bread sticks. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at it. Where are the seams even? And the Pizza Hut cheese really like it bubbles this perfect way that you always want your Pizza Hut cheese to bubble. This is my mother's favorite thing. I would take these over all gun bread sticks in a heartbeat. So what do we got in here? Plain fries. They look a little battered. Yeah, I don't know what moron is buying fries from Pizza Hut. <laughs> what CEO was like, we need fries. They're getting pizza, they want a fucking french fry now and then, huh? Now why are the fries on our menu? We've been doing this since 1958. We haven't had french fries on, get the french fries on the menu. Um, let's try the flavored fries. Lemon pepper fries. <laughs> Cause when you don't want regular fries, you want lemon fries. Really tasted like just eating some McCormick lemon pepper spice. <laughs> just, ah! <laughs> Nobody gift that. <laughs> These are Cajun fries. Everyone loves the Cajuns. Mmm, okay. The CEO was right about this one. Angry CEO. Let's move on to the Pizzones. Please welcome now to the Pizza Hut. Jared Popkin! Yeah! Woo -woo! Welcome, Jared! Woo -woo! What is one word you would use to describe Pizza Hut? I never grew up as like a Pizza Hut kid. I just kind of had other pizzas around. But the people that I know that do like Pizza Hut swear by it. Jared's shirt is the same color as the background. You dressed up like our wall today. Oh. <laughs> Our first pizzone. These are not what I expected. What'd you expect? The calzones. That is massive. That is the size of my face. It's an appetizer, Jared. <laughs> These are listed under appetizers and sides. Grab yourself a side. It's like a big stereotypical Italian mustache. <laughs> All right, there you go. We never end up eating any of the food. We just make characters and costumes. I don't know which flavor this is. I think this is the lots of meat pizzone. I'm gonna go in dry first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get some sauce in here. What's that word for bad food that's just so good? It's bad good. It's bad good. Pepperoni pizzone. A little boring. It's like eating a piece of pizza that all the cheese has already fallen off yeah, onto the plate. Yeah, it sucks. This one sucks. I was about to sing the praises all day of the bazoon. This one sucks. This one sucks. All right. Yeah, how could you say these are the same thing? Do they cost the same? It's okay. Do they cost okay. the same? We just need Fuck. a Fuck, this should be $3 cheaper. Here Whoa. we fucking go. Welcome back to Flavortown. <laughs> if I was that CEO mm -hmm. you were talking about, that mean guy, I'd be like, it's gotta be the Supreme. We gotta have more options. I'm gonna do the biopic for the CEO. <laughs> <Like>. <laughs> 
I still think my favorite is the first one, but this is better than the last one. I'm a fan of this Pizone. In fact, I, I'm a fan of all Pizones except for the shitty one. So oh, Jared, thanks for popping yeah. by. Yeah, thanks for having me for the Pizones. Yeah. Pete's out. Oh, you've been clever today. <laughs> oh, look how cute they are. Garlic nuts. A lot of dough. These are fine, I wouldn't recommend them. We've been cruising on down this luxury lifestyle, but it's time we take a turn on the Wing Street. All right, let's eat some wings. This is kind of like an eat the menu within the eat the menu because Wing Street's its own menu within Pizza Hut. This is like Inception. Pizza Inception. Wing Street. We got all sorts of wings here. I don't think we actually have all of them. Some are coming later, but we've got boneless and bone-in varieties of all the flavors they offer. So let's start with the naked chicken wings. Not bad. Maybe a little dry, maybe a little bland, but I don't hate it. Bone out chicken wings, which are just chicken nuggets. All right, pretty good chicken nuggets, so. Mm. Of just the basic chicken, I do say that the chicken nugget quality is better than the chicken wing quality, but let's get into the sauces, huh? Let's sauce it up. Boneless Buffalo Mild. Nice stickiness to it. Ooh, look how shiny it is. Oh, wow. It is mild, it's not very spicy. The flavor is kind of like, meh. Why is this a totally different color? It just smells like buffalo. What, what did I just eat? Mm-hmm, way better. Definitely a kick. Buffalo wings. Okay, we don't, this one's hot. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, this is too hot for me. <sighs> Okay. It's spicy. <laughs> oh, there's another burning hot. Let's just plow through it while I'm already crying. Why is it the same? We're supposed to have some of these boneless and some of these boned. I gotta blow my nose. No. Oh. Let's get Zach in here to help us try some of the other fun flavors Pizza Hut has crafted in their flavor lab. Cornfell Diddy. Y'all ready for wings? Grab a wing and do your thing. Boneless honey barbecue wings. Oh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. This is the single best eat the menu experience I've ever had. <laughs> that one bite. Same thing, this time with bones. <laughs> So you said this is worse? I think that the chicken is just drier. But it does, it does come with a lot of extra syrup in the bottom. What's your preferred chicken sauce? Buffalo. No, I hurt you. Yeah. No. And the flavor is perfect. Lemon, Lemon pepper! pepper. Alright. <laughs> That's weird. It tastes like a beef jerky flavoring. Who would ever have this as a preference. This sucks. This sucks. You asked if you could, you never thought to ask if you should. That's what the CEOs are doing over there. Let's try the teriyaki. How are you doing, by the way? I've already mm. cried once in this video. Have you? Yeah, the, the hot was really hot. It made me cry. Mm. I know, we had early tears. I barely want to be here right now, so I, can't, I don't know how you're filming the whole video. We gotta film a video, we gotta keep the channel alive. <laughs> and without yeah. Eat the Menu, there is no channel. Whoa. The people wanna watch me eat. They don't care about my fitness journey. They don't care about don't. Ned's fashion. They, don't. they want fast food and lots of it. And I'm here to give it to them. I don't care if I'm tired. I don't care if I'm full. Give the people what they want. This is your fault. Teriyaki! You know. I don't like teriyaki chicken wings. I, I liked them when I was younger, so let's see how it holds up. It smells crazy. Wow, whoa, that's a lot of salt and sugar at once. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't care for this. No, it tastes like eating soy sauce. Now, do you want to stick around for the Parmesan garlic, or is that? Um, probably not. Yeah, because the Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan garlic looks disgusting. And this one oh. didn't disappoint. <laughs> oh my god. Why do they look so gross? Oh my god. What happened in here? <laughs> that's awful. We didn't shake these around or nothing. <laughs> There's nothing white on these. <laughs> Look at this, there's a little bit on the back, but how did the box, how was the box like that and the wing like this? Did they pour cream in the box and then just gently lay chicken on top of it? The hell does it happen? Uh, just like the sight of it is making me queasy. It doesn't taste like garlic or parmesan. <laughs> Maybe I should wipe it onto this goo. 
There we go. Oh god, I well, can't, I can't. How it tastes it? like nothing. I gotta eat one more wing out of the other box. But it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. Oh. I'll this see. one drumette is perfectly cooked, so shout out. <laughs> this one's great. Let's throw it to our food babies who are live on the scene of this Eat the Menu shoot today. YB? Hey, welcome to the Leftover Lounge. Sponsored by the Food Babies. So we have all the leftovers coming in. Now in classic leftover style, none of this is reheated and has been brought directly from Keith. Oh, that noise that it's making in your mouth is It feels like real gloopy in there. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce has really become less of a liquid over time. Back to you, Keith. Thanks, gals. All right, we're gonna move on down to pizzas and whoa, looks like the delivery man is here right now. Hey, oh, how's it going? Oh, wow. Uh, how should we do this? <laughs> Thank you. Let's start with none other than everybody's favorite, America's favorite, cheese pizza! I don't love hand toss, I think it's lame. Look at this flimsy bullshit. <laughs> like the pizza's getting sadder as I wait. I will say, there's something about that cheese blended pizza hut that is like always exactly the same. It's good though, it's got really good flavor. Let's move on to everybody's actual favorite. Oh, the pepperoni pizza. It's pan, you know how it's pan? Look at that charred cheese all the way to the end. That is beautiful. Look how thick and tall the pizza is. Look how it holds strong. No drooping, it is perfectly solid. Oh. Yeah. Look at its golden little bottom. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Woo! That's good. I used to eat a whole one of these by myself at night as an activity. Like that was my plans for the night. Just I'll be eating a pizza in my room, watching Wayne Brady make up songs on Whose Line Is It Anyway. I was most of my Friday nights. One more pizza before we invite our first pizza guest in. It's fucking hand toss bullshit. Yeah, that's more pepperoni in my mouth, that's for sure. I don't mind the hand toss. I just feel like it's missing something. It's time to bring in Mark the Shark Musinski. Come on in, Mark. Woo! So Mark, because you're normally not allowed to eat gluten because mm -hmm. your commitment to your wife who is gluten free, I chose for you the Udi's <laughs> gluten free crust Ooh. cheese pizza. It looks fucking awful. <laughs> Udi's? It it's sponsored by Udi's? It's made of Udi's. Look at it. It looks horrible. As a society, we've made a lot of gluten free advancements. This, I don't expect to be one of them. Mm. Well. You know, with a crust this bad, the cheese really shines. Listen to this. I can't tell if that's the crust cracking or your teeth. Uh, me neither. Until you get to the crust, it's actually okay, but the crust is so overcooked and hard. All right, and now I wanted to reward you with a good pizza because of your unwavering love for Robin. So yeah. I got you all heart-shaped oh. pizza. I guess they just don't cut it when you order it like this. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Well, I barely got to the pizza, <laughs> but it was pretty good. Excited for them to discover this in the leftover lounge, because <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this. Hey, YB, how are things cracking? Hey guys, so we have a quick chance to try and get an exclusive with the Zach Kornfeld. Let's see if we can grab him. Zach, Zach, over here, Zach. What's the best part of being in the Try Guys? Sorry, I gotta run to a dentist appointment. Thank you. Okay, good luck with your teeth. <laughs> Sounds like things are wild back there. Ah, well now it's time to move on to the personal pan pizzas, and for that, I'll need a personal friend of mine, Torian Miller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Torian, I'm gonna have you try something today because they're Becky's favorite. And I love Becky. We met each other at 16 years old doing some theater. Okay, so we got some personal pan pizzas, but not only are they personal pan, this is where we got all the hot crust flavorings. Mmm. The hot crust. This is, uh, this looks like it's plain. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. The crust is a little boring on this one. Doesn't taste like it's got hot cheese in here. 
what is the hut seasoning? It's supposed to come with this like flavor dust on the crust. Oh, come on! This is the same goddamn thing. It's Somebody not. call Pizza Hut. What's How's wrong look? with them? Yeah. This one's taking all the cheese. Now, how am I supposed to eat the menu if you won't sell me the menu? This is not how it's supposed to be. Lot, lot, mm. lot of cheese. Look at the cheese on that. I'm so mad. I'm sorry. No, it's not supposed to be like this. People don't watch this for me to eat the same thing three times and be disappointed. <laughs> they want to watch me eat different things four times and be disappointed. This is supposed to be your segment. I don't have anything else for you. <laughs> <laughs> we should just try this one just because. I'm trying this you one. Know, Let's you see know. how this one tastes. Yeah. Mm, these two are pretty good. <laughs> Let's see if this one can top it. Yeah. Mmm. We gotta get some hot seasoning on this yeah, crust. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed I didn't get to try that. Oh, crust. Here, I'll make it for you. Okay, yeah. They must do this for catering. They That's send crazy. you literally a Parmesan shaker. <laughs> Cut this garlic dipping sauce. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> The hot favorite. Well, Torian, thanks for being here yet again. again. What a total failure on Pizza Hut's part, but you know, Torian really nailed it. Hello. Welcome to the Pizza Dungeon. Thank you very much. Please welcome back to the hut. No, he's never been to the hut. Please welcome to the hut, Brian the B Wo Wo. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I said, oh my goodness, yeah. I've got one on the healthy side and one not. I am suspicious of both after seeing Torian's experience. Yeah, Torian really got the short end of the stick, I'd say. We just got the second delivery and it's got some problems too. So let's just keep on trucking and we'll find those problems later on in the video. But for you, I'm very excited, Bebo, because you are going to be having the Veggie Lovers Thin and Crispy. There's so many olives on it, ugh. I am from Chicago. A lot of people think that the main pizza in Chicago is deep dish. It's actually thin crust. It's actually thin, crispy, square cut. Yes, but uh, let's let's see how it lives up. Yeah. I've got a little crunch to it. Very slight, mm-hmm. This pizza's been here for about an hour, so I can't blame it on them anymore. Though the end crust doesn't get as affected. Yeah, let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. When it comes to crusts, no hut does it quite like the Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> this crust is the, the upper crust of crust. It is finally time for us to enjoy Pizza Hut's first crazy invention. Ah, the cheese stuffed crust cheese lovers cheese pizza. This is not just Cheese stuff pizza. This is extra cheese on the pizza and cheese stuffed crust. I do not remember the cheese crust being this thick. Look at this one. This is humongous. This one's like a power lifter's bicep. Cricket's doing sit ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's cheese in there, all right. It's weird, though, because in the videos, it's always like you pull the cheese apart, but when you eat it, it's just like the cheese just hugs the sides and then you can see through it. I can look through and kind of see miles. Hold on, it's Alfredo sauce. Oh my God, there's Why? no tomato, it's all Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Why? It's creamy garlic Parmesan sauce. <laughs> 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 It was what was on the wings. Oh. Yes, it was. <laughs> Not really on the wings, just on the box with the wings. <laughs> Look at his mouth. And right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bebo. We'll be right back after this. We're gonna feed you a pizza and you're gonna try to guess the flavor. Three, two, one. Enter. <laughs> You're not biting it, so I'm just putting it in deeper and deeper. That was uh, onion, chicken, barbecue. Yes. Wow. You're right. <laughs> well, things really are crazy back in the leftover lounge, and it looks like we got a lot ahead of ourselves right now. <laughs> it's another pizzone. Still pretty underwhelming. Supreme! Guys, this is a normal pizza. Well, let's give it a shot. 
Hell yeah. Pizza Hut's at its best when it's got meat and veggies and cheese and sauce and crust. <laughs> I like that pizza. That was a mega good. <laughs> it was mega fine. Hey, what's that? What is it? I like Hawaiian pizza. I've never had Hawaiian pizza with chicken. Bland, bland little pizza. What do we got here? Ladies and gentlemen, we're now ready to try our third pepperoni pizza. <laughs> they keep giving us this. They all have looked exactly the same. I mean, it's so good. Look at all these words. Delivery charge is not a tip. We love feedback. Give us yours. Oh. I'm giving it to you. Made with at least 35% recycled content. God, I wish we could recycle 35% of our content in the videos. Hey, let's just play a clip of another video right now. Wow, Nala's wearing a hot dog costume and it says, Keith, you are one hot dog. Woo, we're in, Nala, you made it another round. It's the Bart Slur. <laughs> what a good moment. Hey, look at this. Look at this guy, it's a barbecue. Get off of there, fly! <laughs> Get off of my pizza! This one looks like it's got some of the hot seasoning on it. Maybe we'll get there at the end of the day. This is the backyard barbecue chicken pizza. It has the garlic buttery blend on it. Hmm, that's a new flavor. The banana peppers give it a nice amount of brightness and acidity. It kind of makes me nauseous. But that might just be the volume of pizza. Leftover Lounge is fucking nuts right now. Lou Burger's in there eating and partying. Pizza Hut, come and get the Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut! Ah, oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you eat stonefish! <laughs> Huey's album came out today. It's called Look How Quickly Everything's Changing. Available everywhere music is heard. Right? Yeah, that's right. Cool. Thanks, yeah, check it out. Do you like pizza? I love pizza. Well, what if I told you you had the chance to try this pizza? The fuck is it? <laughs> Let's eat this bright, shining beacon oh, of white. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's got more of that Parmesan <laughs> liquid on it. I will say that the crust on this is magnificent. Mm. The Parmesan garlic crust seasoning is great. If you bounce it out with the non-creamy crust, pretty good. Okay, I can't stand to even watch you eat this pizza anymore. <laughs> it's so weird and so gross. Now I know you like that pizza. But what if I told you you could eat this pizza? <laughs> it's covered in toes. <laughs> <laughs> the Cheesy Bites Meat Lovers Pizza. This is my dream come true right here. Look oh. at these oh. Cheesy Bites. Oh. My. Word. Oh. That didn't. Oh. Go. That's a good slice of pizza. I'm getting pretty tired of eating pizza. Doesn't it look like a weird monster foot? <laughs> the thing about Pizza Hut is while I'm eating it, I feel energized. And then as soon as I swallow it, I feel decimated. Same, as long as I keep eating it, I feel just fine. Mm -hmm. We got something special for you. It's more tough. <laughs> But it is chicken barbecue! Whoa! I eat mine fingers laced. <laughs> I'm gonna do mine Wolverine style. However, <laughs> however this one was prepared, I like this barbecue chicken pizza the most. Well, what was your favorite of the pizzas we tried, Huey? The white one, the meat one, or the chicken barbecue and toes? Definitely not the white one. Mm -hmm. Pretty close between this one and the meat one. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta go with this one. It was the most unique. All right, Huey, it's well, time for you to go. Thanks, thanks man. for dropping. Where'd you get a napkin? 
the leftover lounge. Oh shit, they got it all back there. <laughs> pizza Come and get your hut. pizza. Come, Come and get, get your hut. Pizza. If Come you like your pizza, pizza, you, you can, can get, get a hut. hut. Pizza it's a hut. hut. It's a hut. Pizza. A hut. Pizza. It's a hut pizza. 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 Wow, it seems like things are pretty crazy back there. I think I saw you back there. How could I be there and here at the same time? Who knows? But now it's time for us to learn a little bit more about what's on the Pizza Hut menu. And this time we're going to learn alongside my good friend, Alex Lewis. Hey. Hey. Here's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. We got from Pizza Hut, we're going to start out with the, what are these? These are some other breadsticks I've never seen before. You know, Keith, anytime I come on this show, I always try breadsticks and pasta. How many times have you been on the show? Twice. What did you have the first time? Olive Garden. What did you have the second time? Pizza Hut. Oh, you were including this time in your toys. <laughs> yeah. This is some sort of other secret breadstick that I guess comes for free with the pasta. I am very excited about this because it's got a very low chance of making me sick. And for those of you at home uh, meeting me for the first time, I get sick often when I eat food. <laughs> this tastes like uh, a salt lick. Yeah, it's very tough. <laughs> you okay? It's very resilient bread though, I'm pulling on it. <laughs> look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh my god! You wanna have like a lightsaber battle? Strike me down with all of your hatred! Should we dip these in marinara? I feel like that's what the marinara is for. I love the marinara, <laughs> but these breadsticks are so tough. <laughs> They're not bad. No, I mean, no, the marinara is great. I mean, it's like, of course it's good. Neither is the breadstick, though. I'm into the breadstick. You dip poop in gold, it's then worth more, isn't it? <laughs> so a few years ago, Pizza Hut decided that pizza wasn't enough. <laughs> it, you know, they got to enter into the Italian food industry, and so they came out with two oh, pastas. boy. They marketed these pastas by tricking a bunch of people into thinking they were eating good pasta, then saying, ha, it was pizza butt, you idiot. <laughs> they like, literally, they brought people in, they'd be like, we brought a bunch of people in to try this new Italian restaurant's pastas. But what they didn't know is the pasta was actually from Pizza Hut. And then they had them anonymously <laughs> review the pasta. And they have all these people be like, it's really good. How much would you pay for this pasta? Oh, probably $20. Oh, probably $30. What if we told you this pasta was $6.99? <laughs> what? And it's from Pizza Hut. What? <laughs> And you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like if you went to like a nice Italian restaurant and you found out they were just serving you Pizza Hut, wouldn't you be pissed? Yeah, I'd be furious. <laughs> I'm really full. Oh boy, I don't this have a really fork. just looks terrible. I don't have a fork, so. No, we have to? Oh. This is the Alfredo chicken pizza. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, if plunge I... your hand in there. <laughs> Yum, this is how you're meant to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's okay. The chicken works much better in this than it does on the pizza. Pasta number two. <laughs> this looks like a baked ziti's type situation. Mmm. Actually, I think that this, these pastas are not as bad as you'd expect them to be from a place called Pizza Hut. <laughs> Thanks, Alex Lewis. You're welcome. Can I get one more breadstick for the road? You sure can. I don't know why you'd want to. There's way better breadsticks in the leftover lounge. Well, I'll try those too. Okay. Oh. Alex Lewis, everybody, give it up. Watch him on NBC's Bring the Funny, Tuesdays starting in July at 10, 9 central, only on NBC. I'll be on it too. We have made it through the Pizza Hut menu, but now it is time for us to have our just desserts. We got the Pizza Hut chocolate brownie. Mmm, very dry. Probably good with the chocolate glass of milk, but I'm not gonna have a glass of milk. Next up, the Taco Bell Cine Minis presented by Pizza Hut. These are exactly the same as the cinnamon bites I had from Taco Bell. Cine Minis! Remember that? I did that in the Taco Bell video. Hey! I'm Mini Sinnies! Mmm, pretty Mini. This tray is clearly microwave. 
because this is a microwave safe tray. But the Cine Minis are pretty good. They're better than the brownies. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's so full. Oh God, it's a cookie pie. Cookie mouth. <laughs> my mouth is a cookie. Mmm. you go, cookie. Well, before we finish the episode, let's check in with those leftover ladies one more time. This party's off the chain. I mean, Ned's not even in this video, but he's come back to the lounge. <laughs> It's going pretty well so far. Um, he's, you know, he's he's really making it through. It's hard. This one's hard on him. This is I probably haven't seen him like this since Olive Garden. End of the day with Pizza Hut's original dessert, the cinnamon breadsticks with icing. Now, Pizza Hut in some <laughs> Pizza Hut in some markets has dessert pizza. They have like a blueberry cobbler pizza, some sort of apple cinnamon pizza. Our Pizza Hut doesn't have that. We started with breadsticks and so shall we end. Breadsticks to begin. Breadsticks to say goodbye. Breadsticks. We do it again. <laughs> the breadstick learns to swim. It's got icing on the top. Hmm. Very good. Pleasantly surprised. Well, we did it. I've eaten everything on the menu. Let's get one more shot of those girls back there. The party sure is heating up back here. Yes, it is. Bye ladies, bye. Thanks for being so great. And now it is time for me to decide what is the best and what is the least best. The least best thing at Pizza Hut. Mm. Hold on, there's so much in my stomach. I need to be burped. I think the worst thing was that cheese, 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 cheese pizza without any marinara on it. The cheese on the pizza was one note, and then it also had some sort of white garlic butter sauce. Not good. The best thing from Pizza Hut, I think, was the super supreme, the ultra supreme, the extreme supreme. I just think that Pizza Hut is best when it's got the cheese, the vegetables, the meat, and the sauce in the crust. Bada bing, bada bam. You know, there are a lot of other pizzas that are pretty good. I was very surprised by the pizzones. I was surprised by the pastas. I was let down by the staff. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a pretty crazy day here at the Eat the Menu studio. I'm Keith Haversberger. What menu should I take down next? Bye. Breadstick, breadstick, cinnamon covered breadstick. Dip it in the breadstick, it's got icing on the top.